Hello everyone, this is Fiona from SchoolNet welcoming you to the second part of our first webinar for 2014. Thank you for joining us today. This webinar is entitled Get Your Class Creating Shapely Word Clouds Using Tag Cedar. The use of word cloud, clouds in the classroom is a good way to really get through to visual learners. A word cloud is a visual image, such as you can see there in the cloud, of a collection of words made up of words from various sources, such as words that you add yourself, words from a website, a poem or a story, etc. The great thing about word clouds is that not only do students love using them, but they are easy and valuable to use in a variety of content areas and grade levels. My favorite word cloud generator in the past has been Wordle, but recently I used Taxedo for a class and the students embraced it with great ease. Now the thing about um, the word cloud is that the more often you use one particular word, the bigger the word comes. That's a very interesting feature. This is an example of a word cloud that has been created in a shape of um, a camel. Now how do you use Taxedo? Well, start off by asking Google for Taxedo and uh, open it up. Look around the gallery for some inspiration. After looking around the gallery for ideas, click on Create and you will be faced with the menu bar and this is where you will select all your different options. The first thing to do is to load your words. Now you can use this as a vocabulary exercise or you can just get your class writing words or importing words, importing a poem that they've written. Um, so you click on load and um, you'll see all the words, once all the words are there, click on submit. Then you're going to go to themes and themes and colors seem to work together. So you'll notice that a theme has this little arrow next to it and it will show you a number of choices. So you decide which color you want and um, add it, add themes. Although a theme designates the colors, you can swap colors around to show a particular color with a particular size of word as well. Next you'll select fonts and there's quite a nice selection of fonts there to choose. And then you'll go for the shapes. Now you can even add your own shape, your own image, but um, if you want to use one of their shapes, it's very easy to do that. And then step six is select an orientation for your words. So you can have horizontal words, you can have vertical words, a mix of horizontal or vertical or just any with the words going in all sorts of directions. Then you save your word cloud and I always choose this one image 125kp jpeg and title image save it on your computer for later use You'll open up your documents and find the word cloud. What I really love about Taxedo is the fact that you don't have to sign in. So your students can just create their word clouds right there and then save them onto their computer. And it's free. Let's look at some word cloud ideas. Um, I used uh, this idea in class uh, and w for new classes. So I got the students to um, write their names at least 10 times so that they were, th just so that they could stand out. 
and um, we also use the time to revise some grammar so I would say things like write down three adjectives that describe yourself etc and finally they chose a shape which they felt best depicted them or their interests and then they reported back on their word cloud to the rest of the class. Another thing you can do is you can write poems and then add the poem to Tuxedo. So here's a poem that one of the children wrote and and then she took those words and put it into Tuxedo choosing the shape of a speech bubble and completely horizontal. But the internet is full of ideas on how to use Wordle. You find things like 101 ways to use Wordle in the classroom, 80 ways to use Wordle in the classroom, 80 ways to use word clouds in the classroom. There's just so many ideas. Teachers have really got uh, added wonderful ideas onto the internet. And here I've got a few links you could click on. Thank you very much. This presentation will be loaded onto the SchoolNet blog. Goodbye.